All right, so once we get the time in here, uh, we'll be good to go. Yeah, you said Tempest was joining. Hi. Hey, Dan. How's hey. it going? Going well. So I'm really happy. Yeah, first off, congratulations on uh, winning against a team that has yet to face a single loss this season. And not only making them bleed, but uh, showing that you can get a domination off them too. Yeah, it was, it was good. Were you guys expecting this kind of result where not only you, you take games from them, but you, in the first game, you looked very dominant. Uh, second game was a lot of back and forth, but you walk away. Did you expect the 2-0 or were you just going to hope for the 1-1? The uh, obviously, team name change is a very good team. They've got lots of Grandmaster players in Hero League, so we knew really anything could happen. I said this in my pregame interview. Really, like we could have a two-zero or one-one either way. Really, mm -hmm. um, I'm really proud of my team. We came out and played really well tonight and brought the two-zero. So, uh, yeah, yeah, you guys definitely, definitely brought the A game there. Now. How often do you guys actually uh, practice with Fireteam? Because I know he was subbing in for you, and he seemed to do an excellent job for you guys. Um, so I used to play on a team with Fireteam, uh, TMG Red, which was an old TMG team back in NGS Season 4, I think? Season 2. Season... It, it was the season before last season. So Season 3. Uh, uh. Season 3. Okay. Yeah, so we used to play on a team... Uh, Fire team hasn't been playing that much here as the storm lately, but Sho went on an extended vacation, so we brought him in as sort of a long-term sub. So he's been subbing for us in the open and in NGS, and doing quite well. He's a great friend of ours, so yeah. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I, I don't know if I want to say Sho might have to sit out a little bit, but Fire team definitely made the case for maybe even being a starter, which is Fire team is undefeated. <laughs> yes, at this point, <laughs> undefeated, baby. Sure. So one of the questions I had is so on Towers of Doom, normally like previously Whiskers was the one playing like the supportive heroes like Medivh, while you play more the DPS. This time you flipped it around where you were on Medivh and Whiskers was on Phoenix. Is that something that you prepare? Is that something that you prepare for in scrims, or is that something that you're just like, I don't feel comfortable on Phoenix or you know, because Whiskers I know does feel really comfortable on Medivh, or is Whiskers just the god Phoenix with his warp build? Did Whiskers go warp build? Yes. <laughs> Whiskers, if you're watching this, I'm disappointed. Son, I'm disappointed. <laughs> he made it work. This is true. Whiskers, Whiskers picks lots of really crazy talents. Uh, but to get back to your question, we've been doing a little bit of swapping. Uh, Whiskers is really good at doing a lot of damage. So being able to put him on that hyper carry role uh, with me on more of the, the supporting with the Medivh, as we figured would be able to work really well. We unfortunately haven't been able to scrim that much these last couple of weeks, obviously with Show being on vacation. So we actually hadn't tried this configuration before tonight, but it seemed to work. Yeah. So what, what would you contribute to getting the domination tonight? Obviously, you said you haven't been able to scrim as much. Do you just feel that you guys had the right kind of communication, right comms, or right synergy, right drafts, uh, or did they kind of like bless RNG happen in certain cases for you too? Um, well, I think you giving us the secret Samuro pick helped a lot. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Uh, secret strats from casters, baby. So, so as background, uh, while we were before we were doing coin flip, time asked what heroes hadn't been played in Storm Division, and Samuro was mentioned. So, yep. Yeah, Tags is a fantastic Samuro player, so he he always loves to play that hero. So, figure we'll honor the request. <laughs> and you made it work, especially even like that split push, even against the global. I was a bit doubtful about it at first. Plus, you're giving Thrall a lot more bodies to give him crash lightning stacks. But even so, you got a lot of value with it. Just like backdooring that bot keep on battlefield, using it to, or just and just giving him a lot of more race potential. Mm. Now, have you guys played that sort of comp before on Battlefield? Essentially, um, 
the blow up comp because obviously most people including both of us were like etc in the very first rotation around like this is crazy but clearly you turned the haters into believers by how you executed that game so okay the story of the etc is a little funny uh tempest sent us a stats sheet earlier and mm -hmm. uh doc feels like etc is one of his best heroes and i was looking at this stats sheet and i'm like hey that etc has a zero percent win rate next to it and so i messaged doc about that and uh, <laughs> he wanted a chance to prove himself so we picked it pretty early for any storm diffs here for any storm diff captains hearing that don't worry they're coming for all you guys <laughs> <laughs> don't worry like they're not doing they're not getting special attention you guys are getting info sheets too that, that's pretty awesome i actually didn't know you guys were all getting info sheets like that that's pretty amazing and i'd also heavily recommend um stats of the storm for like just general information too that uh that's actually made by an ngs member uh Valendreth, and who keeps it updated with the all the information across all the divisions as well and he has time to keep it updated now, obviously, the Medivh worked out really well. Um, and since you personally were playing uh, the Medivh, what was the logic? We were talking about it, the Enduring Will versus uh, the, for the Force of Will versus the, the group Force of Will. Well, um, I have been playing around with some Medivh talents lately. Um, I've felt like usually when you're using wave of or not wave of force, sorry, force of will, mm -hmm. it's to try and save one target. And while I think there were definitely some fights, the circle protection could have gotten value. Uh, it's more often than not, I found that it's better to have those consistent forces of will to be able to reduce kill windows on important targets. Yeah, and we definitely saw a payoff there uh, on, on Whiskers and then again on Doctor, where you just had Force Wills ready to go significantly quicker, which led to people not going down that we're both expecting to go down. Yep, it worked out. It's good. Uh, do you have any other questions, Tempest? Mm. No, not not really. Um, most of what I had questions about have been answered from time. Like the very early ETC pick, I was probably thinking like leaving my F might be an early pick, and you save the ETC for later. But I mean, Doctor needed to make a statement, and he did. He played a little aggro at times, but it worked out in the end. Yeah, I was a little concerned about the flank behind the keep, but. Uh... Yeah, <laughs> so he was concerned about it. He was trying to give Team Dean Chinch a, he was trying to feed Team Dean Chinch a nice steak dinner. <laughs> to be fair, it was looking good for a moment there until Smitty hit like the god, uh, stay a while and listen and locked everyone down pretty much. Oh, uh, yeah, that was really well played. So now I'd like to give you the floor to give any shout outs or anything else you'd like to say uh, before we get going. Uh, well, obviously, shout-outs to my team. They played really well tonight. Uh, I really enjoyed playing with everyone. Uh, shout-outs to Fire Team specifically, for subbing in for us and for being our manager. You're the best. Uh, shout-outs to Team Name Change for a great series tonight. Uh, you guys gave us a real run for our money, and uh, I'm sure you guys will have many wins to come. And shout-out to NGS, because it's super fun. All right. Well, once again, congratulations to you and your team time, uh, because, yeah, this is probably the start of uh, a big win streak, I feel, if you're taking down the 6-0 victor, or I guess a reigning champion so far here in this season. It can only go up, I assume. We'll although, see about that. <laughs> yeah, although then again, they're also playing Run Boys, and they're also playing... Um, you're just playing Run Boys and Send Noodles. That Run Boys game might be a place that, you know, if they get too cocky. <laughs> uh, we're definitely not trying to be too cocky going into any of these games. There's a lot of good teams ahead of us. Um, definitely 
a lot of teams that can take games or take the series off of us, so we'll be watching. Ooh, I do have one question for you, actually. So right now in Heroes and in, in, in HEC Open, you guys are positioned at seventh in the standings right now. Yes. And last phase, the seventh team in the standings was King Gambit. <laughs> are you going to see you get casted on the mainstream soon? Um, we were casted on the mainstream actually last night mm-hmm. in our match. Was it last night? No, it was two days ago. In our match against Necro Dancers. Uh, mm-hmm. We fell 0-2, unfortunately, but of course, Necrodancers is a really strong team, so no shame there. Oh, I meant to say, like, in the Crucible, sorry. In the Crucible? No. <laughs> King's no, Gambit made it I, there. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're not quite King's Gambit. King's Gambit was a pretty special team, but maybe. <laughs> we'll do our best. I'll tell you that. Yeah, best of luck in the rest of HGC Open, and... Well, I'm expecting to see you guys in the playoffs, and at this point, uh, you can you can essentially wave the NGS banner and be like, "Hey, there's people in NGS, and it's not just you know kind of like baby's first steps as a league. Like people in this league are actually really good, as Trademark Gaming is showing that in HEC Open right now." Oh well, thanks. I'm not sure I'd quite label us as the really good yet, but we're, we're improving. <laughs> well, being being top eight is definitely not um, anything to scuff at. That means you're better than the majority of players in in the U.S. at this very moment. True. <laughs> you're, you're the the one percent, and we're all the ninety nine percent. All right. Well, once again, congratulations on the series and enjoy the rest of your night and uh, whatever your team does to celebrate, which might be just like heading up to bed. All right. Um, and one last shout out that I forgot to give the shout out to my dad who's watching. Dad's watching. Aww. Yeah. Thanks for watching, so, dad. Thanks, dad. You're the best. All right. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, that's been a Trainmark Gaming taking that 2-0, and we had time with us. So thanks for stopping on by, everyone. Uh, there'll be another cast. It'll only be a solo one with just uh, myself. And, yeah, I want to thank Tempest for joining me. It's been a great cast with him. And once again, you can easily see all of his information down below, which is Tempest Hots. And that's both his Twitter and his Twitch. He's also the Storm Division writer. So you get some really good information and some facts about what's going on in the division from him. Anything you'd like to say before we get going, Tempest? Hey, I'm glad I got to cast this incredible game. Uh, shout out to both teams for getting me saying the show. And I mean, I hope you guys actually read my articles. <laughs> Yes, go go ahead and read them because if the casting is anything to go by, then the writing would be just as good as the casting in the commentary. That way, you saying you're not right. reading it? Uh, I'm usually too busy between setting up for cast, doing all the casting, and trying to do a startup simultaneously. All I'll say is, I wonder if I can ghost edit because I made the very wrong prediction for this game. <laughs> You said it on stream, though. There's no going back. The internet has archived this. No going back. All right. Well, thank you so much, Tempest, for joining me. And I'm going to kick off the replays for this series. And so you can all stick around uh, for the next series, which will be starting in five minutes. I need to go and do a coin toss, but you can all enjoy the replays in the meantime. So thanks again. And I hope to see you in the very next series, which is off-brand cereal versus the Bonzo Brothers. So thanks again, and have a good night if you're not going to stick around.